Next time you eat a pizza, try this. Cut off the crust and stretch it out. Now lay that crust across other identical pizzas. Surprise, it spans just over three pizzas wide. That's not a coincidence. That's pi in action. You see, the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. In simple terms, that's about 3.14 times across. But pi doesn't just measure around. It also helps us find how much space is inside, a circle's area. Let's go back to that pizza. Imagine slicing it super thin into dozens of skinny pieces. Now rearrange those slices crust to crust, top and bottom, and you get a rectangle. The length of that rectangle, half the crust goes on top, half on the bottom. So length is pi times r. The width, that's just the radius, one slice long. Now area is just length times width. So that's pi times r times r, or written as pi r superscript 2. So for the next time someone asks you, why is the area of a circle pi r superscript 2? Just tell them, because pizza said so.